Today I'm going to be showing you how to reduce getting backlashes with your rod and reel and if you do get backlashes, how to get them out. I'm going to be showing you how to get it out, how to get out a backlash with braid and how to get one out with fluorocarbon and how to reduce getting backlashes with braid and how to reduce getting backlashes with fluorocarbon. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first up, how you can reduce getting backlashes greatly is this little knob on the side. It says min and max, or it goes like from one through eight, as in one being, okay, so it goes from loose to tight. Min being the loose, and then max being the tight. Or if your reel has numbers on it, it goes from one to eight, eight being the tightest, one being the loosest. I think that's how that goes, or it might be the other way around. I'm not too sure about that. But, so you can turn it all the way to max. It will reduce your casting distance, but you won't get barely any backlashes, but I'll show you a way, so then you don't have to do that. Okay, here's how you can reduce getting backlashes with fluorocarbon. Okay, so first off, this is what I always do for a little trick. I always get burned when I first cast my fluorocarbon. So I always just give it a a dunk in the water so then it doesn't burn my fingers I don't okay so for first you can always you can always put it on max and it's basically impossible to get a backlash with fluorocarbon on max see like that just didn't get anything okay so so you're getting tired of not being not being able to cast far. What you can do is this is a gradual process. I can use you can I did it in like a few days, but you can do this in you can stretch this out as much as you want. So you want to cast farther. You just so you just take a few clicks with the with the um the loose the so you'll loosen it a few clicks, like two to three a day, until you're all the way. See, now you can cast a few feet farther, but that few feet can mean the difference if you can reach those schooling bass or not. Just, and then you just keep going a few clicks. And then, just for time's sake, I'm gonna go all the way to loose. So now I'm all the way on loose, and when you're all the way on loose, you're gonna wanna hold your thumb on this very tight and then once you you can you'll start being able to feel the line like start to uh, I don't even know how to explain that you'll start to feel the line like go like it's not gonna feel right on your thumb and then you're just gonna want to stop it so like this so you cast and you're gonna want to stop it when it hits the water so as long as you hold hold your thumb, just apply a little pressure to the reel. Not a lot, just a little pressure so then it keeps the line from slipping. You should be fine. And if you stop, put a whole bunch of pressure as soon as it hits the water, so then the line doesn't just keep going and that's how you get your backlashes showed you how to reduce getting backlashes. Now, if you get one, I'm gonna show you how to get it out with fluorocarbon, and then we'll do braid next. Now I'm gonna show you how to get out a backlash with fluorocarbon. Fluorocarbon is a lot harder to get out than braid is. Braid's super easy to get out, but sometimes fluorocarbon can be a little tricky, so I'm gonna show you how you can get it out. So now I'm gonna get a backlash here. Okay, I gotta, I gotta loosen it so I can get a pretty bad one. Okay. Look at that, already. I'm gonna stop before it gets too bad. But, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're just gonna wanna pull. Just gonna wanna pull it out. And then you're gonna wanna just pick at it. So you're just picking at it. You don't even just tell, you're gonna wanna pick and pull is what you're gonna wanna do. Pick and pull, pick and pull. Some, some, this is a pretty bad one. Like, you usually wouldn't get this when you're using the technique that I showed you with the thumb. But you're just gonna wanna pick and pull until it loosens, until you can get it out. 
And then if that doesn't work, there's another trick you can do. This is a pretty bad one. I see knots in it. But we'll try. We'll get it out. And another trick you can do is you can go like this and go halfway and then pull. Go halfway and then pull. And then go halfway again. And then pull again and just keep doing that until it comes out. But this is a really this is a pretty bad one that I got here. So you just gonna pick and pull and then picking and pulling doesn't work. Well just it will work. You just gotta give it time. And now I'm gonna show you how to get one out with braid. Braid is easy to get out and it's pretty easy to cast. So with braid, it, you shouldn't have to worry about burning like you do with the fluorocarbon. So I usually don't get this wet. So you just cast it out. I'm gonna get a backlash here. And then it, see like that's, that's, that's about an average backlash that you get. It's not too bad, but with the same thing, you're just gonna wanna pick and pull and braid's a lot easier to come out for some reason. But it's, okay, I'll show you one more time with the braid. It's very easy with the braid. I'm gonna reel this in. I'm gonna take another cast. There, there's a pretty bad one. So what you're, you're just gonna wanna pick and pull and pick and pull until you get it out. 